Video 3. Starting up the Jumpstart server for the first time. Press the power button on the front of the Jumpstart server. When the Jumpstart server is powered on, the indicator LED on the front will light up solid blue. If this indicator LED is flashing red, contact Christy Tech Support. Note, in the event of a power failure, the LED may also blink red and the server will make a beeping sound. The Jumpstart server runs on a Windows 7 Professional 64-bit platform as its operating system. This Windows environment has been tuned to provide the best possible performance and has been optimized for the Jumpstart software. It is not recommended to install Windows updates, Java, firmware, or driver updates. Once the Windows 7 operating system initialization has completed, you will see the Windows desktop with a Christie logo in the center. If you do not see the Christie logo, Check your video cable connections. The white and blue Christie splash screen that you see after starting the server is the start process for the Jumpstart server software. During this process, the Jumpstart software is loaded into memory and any previously running scenario will be activated once loading has completed. If your Jumpstart server has been connected to the Christie MicroTiles display wall for the first time, the MicroTiles connection wizard will be started after the Jumpstart server software has finished loading. If microtiles need to be set up and the microtiles connection wizard did not open automatically, right click the Christie Media Server icon in the Windows taskbar and select Microtiles Setup Wizard. If microtiles are connected and you cannot see the microtiles connection wizard, disconnect one of the outputs from the Jumpstart server and connect it to a computer monitor. Complete the steps for the wizard using the computer monitor up until the Jumpstart server requires a reboot. During reboot, reconnect the output cable to the microtiles display wall. Step 1. Click Next to confirm that the microtiles display has been connected to the server. If the display wall is already configured, you'll be prompted to confirm that you want to clear the current configuration. If you are setting up the Jumpstart server for the first time, this message will not be seen. Step 2. Select Ethernet or Serial and click Next. Step 3. If Ethernet was chosen, enter the IP address and port of the master ECU. Serial connection is useful in a situation where there is no network access or the Jumpstart server is in close proximity to the MicroTiles ECU. Click the test button to ensure the Jumpstart server and the master ECU can communicate with one another. Click Next once the test is finished. Step 4. You can choose to automatically or manually configure the MicroTiles. If automatic setup is selected, the MicroTiles connection wizard will detect the correct resolution for the MicroTiles and set it up for you. This is the recommended setup method. If you chose to manually configure the MicroTiles, you will need to use the MicroTiles web UI to set the resolution for each ECU manually. For more information on how to do this, please refer to the MicroTiles user manual. Step 5. The Windows screen resolution window will pop up. Click the Identify button. This will allow you to see the number and location of each screen. If the screens are arranged correctly, click Cancel and continue to Step 6. If the screens are not arranged correctly, you can left-click and drag each of the displays to their correct location. Once the identified screens have been correctly arranged, click OK and continue to Step 6. Step 6. If you are using multiple ECUs and you would like the Jumpstart server to show all outputs as a very large single Windows desktop without extended displays, you will need to set up an Ifinity group. This feature can be useful or even necessary if you are intending to run full screen applications on the Jumpstart server across all the outputs or use the MicroTiles Interactivity Kit. To set up an Ifinity group, click Open the AMD Control Panel. Note. All outputs of the Jumpstart server must be the same resolution to be able to set up the Ifinity group. If all outputs are not the same resolution and Ifinity groups are required, resolution of the microtiles will need to be adjusted using the microtiles web UI. Further information on how to do this can be found in the microtiles user manual. Once the AMD control panel is open, click AMD Ifinity Multi Display from the panel on the left. Click Create Ifinity Group. Select a display icon from the list. Click Continue. Select a layout for the display group that matches the physical layout of the microtiles display wall, and then click Continue. If an incorrect layout is chosen, the Ifinity will not be displayed correctly on the microtiles. Click Arrange, and then select the screens in the order that they appear.
click Done. This concludes the session on how to start and set up the Jumpstart server for the first time. In the next session, we will explore how to add media content to the Jumpstart server and the Jumpstart client.